In this tutorial, we will illustrate how to start a Mesa Troll Turning Program on a Mazak Turning Center. To create a new Mesa Troll Turning Center program, start by selecting the far left soft key, then select Program. Next, select the Work Number key. In the dialog box, enter a new program name or number, and select OK. We can choose to create a G-code program, or a Mesa Troll Conversational Program. This will be a Mesa Troll Conversational Program. At this point, we're in the editor, and the control starts prompting us for answers. For some processes, we also have a graphical help screen available. This is accessed by the right-hand menu button, then selecting Help. The first prompt, is asking for the material type the part is made from. This information is used by the control to automatically calculate feeds and speeds, throughout the program. Shown on the menu are the pre-programmed material types. You can alter the settings for these materials, or create new ones, in the cutting condition pages. This part, will be made of simple carbon steel. If the pop-up keypad blocks your view, it can be moved by dragging as desired. Highlighting this key, will keep the keypad in its current position. The next prompt, is asking for the maximum outer diameter of the work blank. Our work piece size is 6.0 inches in diameter. Next, we are prompted for the inner diameter of the blank. In our case, the work piece is solid, so the diameter is zero. Work piece length, is the overall length of the part blank. This length, should include any rough material to be cleaned off both ends of the part. If you're using a bar feeder, with very long bars, I recommend making the blank the length of the part, plus just enough material for part off and clean up. This will keep the graphic of the part, much easier to view during programming and simulation. For this part, the length is 6.04 inches, including 20 thousandths to face off each end. Work face, is how much material to take off in front of the program part zero face. In this case, 20 thousandths. Max turning spindle RPM, is a maximum clamp speed for the turning spindle. At no time, including when facing to zero, will the turning spindle exceed this speed. For this part, I'll use 2500 RPM. The top line of a turning program, also contains some key data used when setting up the program to cut. These additional settings, are accessed by selecting the top line, then the right hand menu button, then set up data. The Z offset, is required for all programs, and is usually set by positioning a tool, that has been properly measured for cutting, to the part zero face, or a known distance from that face, and using the teach function. Once the tool is in the desired position, enter the known distance from that face. In our example I'll use zero, and select input. C offset is optional, used to offset the C axis zero point. This is usually only used on pre-machined parts or forgings. Target counter is also optional. It's used for setting how many parts you wish to make. The jaw number setting for each spindle, is important for proper function of the safety barriers. Jaws are graphically described on the Chuck Jaw data page, and selected by the jaw number. For this part, I'll use Jaws number 10 for head 1, with a grip diameter of 6 inches and jaws number 11 for head 2, with a grip diameter of 4 inches. If your machine has a tail stock, instead of a second spindle, you'll see a tail information box instead. The first entry, enables or disables tail stock usage. The reference value, is either the distance from part 0 to the tail stock which can be taught using a tool that has been measured for cutting. Or, it will contain the quill extension length. The setting entered depends on the type of tail stock on your machine. Tail position 1 and 2, are work pressing positions with the tail stock center. Choosing which of these positions to use, is done by M code. Typically, these are M741, or M742, but check your machine's manual, for the correct code. When you're finished with your settings, be sure to select setup end, to save your changes. It should be noted that, the information entered in setup data on the program page, is the same information seen or set, on the setup information screen available from the position page, when this program is the active program for the machine. All of this information can be edited or viewed, on this setup information screen. With the top line completed, we're ready to program the cutting of a part. <laughs>